Hi, this is Elliot Fishman, and welcome to the latest version of You Make the Call. You remember now how this goes. You have one slide, two images, and we need to come up with the best diagnosis. There's a little bit of clinical history, but the rest is you and me trying to think about it. I have 20 cases. We're going to do this in under 20 minutes. So let's get going. In this patient with abdominal pain and weight loss, you see on the CT scan with MIP imaging, there's an enhancing structure in the right lower quadrant, which matches the enhancing structure seen on the uh, octreotide scan. There's a subtle mass in the liver, which also matches the study here. And there's also another additional small bowel lesion, which is there. Well, that's simple enough. Vascular mass in the liver with an enhancing mass in the right lower quadrant and it's in the small bowel, maybe a bit in the mesentery. What's this going to be? Well, you're kind of stuck. It's not an adenocarcinoma. That's not the appearance. It's not going to be a gist tumor. That's also typically not going to be the appearance, though I guess theoretically it can. The classic thing you're going to get a triotide scan on is a, a neuroendocrine tumor. So what do we have here? We have a carcinoid tumor, multiple sites, as well as liver metastasis. What a great case. This patient has abdominal pain, and what do you see? You see multiple liver metastases, and there's blood around the edge of the lesions and the right lobe of the liver. So now you say, what can bleed in the liver? We think about hepatic adenomas. We think about hepatomas. We think about trauma, biopsy. But what else gives you cystic lesions that bleed? you got to consider metastasis. Mets that bleed... We mentioned some of them, melanomas up there, but cystic mets, you gotta be thinking about just tumors, you gotta be thinking about ovarian cancer, maybe melanoma. This ended up being a metastatic germ cell tumor to the liver with spontaneous rupture of several of the lesions and hemoperitoneum. This patient had scrotal pain. There's a large mass in the scrotum, you can see the vascularity. There's not many things that you get in the scrotum, a big mass like this that's not malignant. They're all malignant, essentially. Lymphoma, I think about. I think also about a seminoma or non-seminomatous type tumor. If you look at this case, the liver looks good. Everything looks good. This was a non-seminomatous germ cell tumor. And this case, although the only mass is the presentation mass in the patient's scrotum, the case I showed you before with the hemorrhagic metastasis into the liver, this was this patient about a year and a half later. This patient has weight loss. You see a complex cystic and solid mass in the liver. Thoughts, primary tumor, biliary cyst adenoma, biliary cyst adenocarcinoma. Metastasis, I mentioned germ cell tumor, gist tumor, ovarian cancer, melanoma. You, you can't see it here. The patient has already had a TAH and BSO. This was metastatic ovarian cancer. Now, it's not a simple cyst, obviously. There's thickened wall. And of course, there's a soft tissue nodularity. Beautiful example of metastatic ovarian cancer. This patient has abdominal pain and an umbilical mass. Well, let's look at the umbilical mass first on the image on your right. There are additional masses in the soft tissue of the abdominal wall as well. These are going to be metastases, right? And the one in the midline is by the umbilicus. That's a cyst of Mary Joseph nodule, originally described with pancreatic cancer. You then try to figure out what's going on. This tumor in the liver, this tumor around the liver. I only could show you two images, so I couldn't do justice to this case. But what this was was gallbladder cancer invading the liver with peritoneal metastasis and Sister Mary Joseph nodules. Wow, what a great case. Patient with right lower quadrant pain. There's a large inflammatory mass and a calcification. Right lower quadrant, perforated cecum, Meckel's diverticulum. But at the end of the day, I'm always thinking appendicitis. And when you got the calcification, this is a perfed appendix with a right lower quadrant abscess. Home run diagnosis. What about this case? Large mass, right lower quadrant. There's a calcification there. 
What could this be? Well, perforated meckles, well, rare. Perforated sequel cancer. Perforated um, adenocarcinoma of the terminal ilium. This also, almost exactly like the last case, was perforated appendix with an abscess. What about this case? You look at the image on the right, you see what looks like a dilated appendix with calcification. Are we simply dealing with appendicitis? You see there's some implants toward the right lower quadrant, as well as a thickened dilated esophagus. The implants are best seen on the image on the left, around the inferior liver and in the left flank. So now you say, what else could this be? I will admit I would love some coronals, I would love more images, but that's the, the game, you only got two images. So what was this? Mass, probably appendix, calcification, could be appendicitis, could be just an appendolith, but then you couldn't explain the implants on the omentum. This was a mucosal of the appendix, which commonly has calcification with omental implants. What a great case. Anterior metastinal mass, eccentric and solid. Could be lymphoma, not the greatest appearance. Thymoma, that's what you gotta be thinking. Solid mass, eccentric. Teratoma, I like to see fat or a fluid or um, calcification. Metastasis, lymphoma, you know, the three T's and an L. But eccentric solid mass like this, teratoma is the answer. Interior stinal mass, kind of hanging a bit low. Cystic with more of a soft tissue component. Cystic thymoma, possibility. Bronchogenic cyst, funny presentation, nah. Pericardial cyst, nah. Thymoma, we said cystic thymoma as a possibility. Well, cystic with solid component, I don't see fat, but you got to consider with multiple tissue types, teratoma, and this was a large teratoma, a little low-lying, a little eccentric, but a great diagnosis. So with that, hopefully we shared some time together, we discussed some cases together, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the CTSS YouTube channel. You can also visit us at ctss.com for even more videos, plus quizzes, pearls, protocols, and oh so much more. We're also in the App Store and have well over a dozen apps for iPhone and iPad, all completely free. Thanks for watching.